Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Bart's perplexed over a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. It's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. We got smooth ambler. Contradiction. Which it is. Let's test it. Test it! Push your neighbor style. Push your neighbor style. Yeah, contradiction. Just threw it in there. You didn't like that one? Uh, yes, I don't. It's like a contradiction. Push your neighbor? Should you push your neighbor? You should not. That would be a contradiction. What are you supposed to do? What context of a push? Like physically push them? Sure. What are you or supposed to do with your neighbor? Mentally? Or like let your dog poop in their yard? Know, I don't know about the force. Yeah, the dog pooping's my... Is that pushing your you're neighbor? You're supposed to love your neighbor. Okay. Didn't know you wanted deep. Is that too <laughs> I, deep? Did, I've not? never just, heard that analogy or No, the analogy would before. be to love thy neighbor. So you, you, love you, thyself. Su you supplemented push your neighbor. Which and I would be a contradiction. That would be a contradiction. Not hate. I don't care if you not knew. Not hate your Maybe neighbor. Maybe they knew. Hate your neighbor would be a contradiction. Well, push your neighbor. I thought, I didn't maybe, know what he's referencing. Maybe your neighbor's like when you get pushed. Like your dog pooping in your neighbor's yard. That's I thought not maybe really that pushing. was a contradiction. That's not really pushing. <laughs> wow. What was You're continuing with the judgment. Lots of heavy <laughs> judgment. It's like judgment after judgment. I was wondering where push comes from. I don't from. know. That was, Just, weird. that was a weird It's one. a contradiction was what I was going for. You should love thy neighbor. So the idea is when I say push your neighbor style, someone will go, no, you're supposed to love thy neighbor. If yes. anyone watching, if you knew what Bart meant by push your neighbor. Put in the comments. Put in the comments. Claire the Third's already like, I agree with Scott. That's <laughs> Claire what always that's, agrees with That's me. what I'm saying. Claire's Claire, like, I'm like with that. Scott. Bart was confusing. <laughs> Raster will be like, no, I immediately well, understood the intricacies we of were his looking. dichotomy. So smooth ambler contradiction, we were Raster, looking. Raster. And then you were confused. You go, a blend of straight bourbon whiskey. I go, like High West does, a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys. Mm, High West, is, I think, is more well known for their rise. Well, it would be a blend of straight rice. rye whiskeys. Sure. Correct. Right, not bourbons. Why did they call it a contradiction? Boo rye. Boo rye has a bourbon in it. Sure. How about campfire? It's got a bourbon sure, in it. Sure, but this is straight bourbon whiskey. So yeah. they're blending two different straight bourbons. 50%, 100 proof. Why do you think they call it a contradiction? I have no idea. That's what I'm talking about. That was the whole point. What? Push Why your neighbor? do they call it a contradiction? A blend of straight bourbon whiskey. They have, well, there's, um, there's several whiskeys from Smooth Ambler. So a weeded bourbon distilled and aged in West Virginia and a merchant bottled bourbon that we carefully source. We are very proud of our knack for bringing you great spirits we hand make and excellent spirits we hand select. And contradiction is the opportunity to enjoy in a single sip the convergence of those two very different efforts. So the contradiction is what they make and what they source. Expertly blended from bourbons distilled in both West Virginia and Indiana, which tells you probably MGP. Yep. Interesting. I and remember, there's an elephant on there on a cask. That's not normal. It's like a contradiction. <laughs> now that is a contradiction. Uh, 285. 286. Normally it's Scotch God shout out. He's on a whiskey barrel. Right. Would that hold it? I don't, I don't think know so. how well it depends on the Cooper. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hillbilly. Oh, Hillbilly. Woo. He says, I'm a pretty new subscriber and loving the channel, but instead of always saying roll tide when Alabama is mentioned, I saw this. Can I get a War Eagle every now and how again? How do you say that, though? Like, I've heard you roll tide. I mean, you just know what, what do they yell, like, War Eagle or something like that? Just be a War Eagle? Just War when, Eagle. When Alabama is mentioned, he wants a War Eagle. Don't they, do they have like a oh, war eagle? Call like a crow. That's, yeah. What's the sound of an eagle? What do they sound like? Have you ever heard an eagle? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! That's just more like a war chicken. Ah! Yeah, they're, like, like, ah! very, they're fierce. With the wings Ooh. out, very visual. Grassy, weedy. Malt, almost like a malt. So I get a lot of caramel. A lot of, yeah. 
I would have said caramel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a contradiction. Yeah, bingo. Tomato, <laughs> tomato. <laughs> caramel, your neighbor. Push your neighbor. <laughs> Car caramel, your Push neighbor. Push your neighbor style. Roll them in feathers. You know what I was going for there. Yeah, it was instead of caramel, your neighbor, it was tar and feather. <laughs> <laughs> you should have got it. You should have known. Run them out on a rail. That's another one. Dusty corn. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I totally get that. Along with the heavy malted flavor that's in there. Yeah, the mal yeah I thought a malty nest. But that is isn't because I don't always get that malted note in a bourbon. Right. Is that the wheat coming through? Yeah, that's yeah, could be. I think it might be. Wow, I almost get a little spark of rye, even though I know it's not. But I mean, no, there can be a rye in there. Well, there could be a rye in the mash bill. I get a spark of rye. It's got a nice color to it as well. Uh, by the way, batch ninety six and bottled by. I can't tell. Swami. <laughs> it's a handwritten name, Sarah. Something sales sales bottled by the Ooh, sales department. That's Sparky. <laughs> a sales department had a good day. We will let mm -hmm. you bottle. Wow, mm -hmm. nice caramel finish. I'm gonna have to come back to the open. There's a little rye. A okay. little rye there is. Did you get the pepper. I got some orange, some orange zest. So I get a pepper on the open. A little bit of a, a dill dry seasoning. Mm. A lot of caramel, cinnamon. For a hundred proof, not too, not too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah, I do get a little dill. Mm -hmm. Some like the dill, some don't. A little bit of astringency. Oak, that maltiness, still, wheat, maybe. Usually wheat doesn't necessarily give you a maltiness, but it really feels like there's some barley in one of these mash bills. Well, I mean, definitely a grain, like a grain influence, dry grain. You're right, it is dry and astringent on the finish. Almost a little bit of that sweet powdered sugar on my cheeks. Hmm. And you you said you've had other things from Smooth Amber. No, no. There are several offerings from them. Old Scout. This one and Old Scout have showed up here. But there are several other um, offerings from Smooth Ambler as well. Hmm. And they're out of West Virginia. Cherries. Oh, there it is. It's just Ooh, got some cherries. Max hmm? Maxwellton, West Virginia. The wheat bourbon. Trying to describe the sweetness that's with it. More like a molasses almost. Maybe a little bit of a maple syrup brown sugar yeah definitely brown sugar mm -hmm. yeah. do you get the dry powdered sugar on your cheeks mm. at the finish no okay so that's why i get the astringency and i get that powdered sugar sweetness right on the side of both cheeks <laughs> mouth cheeks just in case <laughs> that would be a contradiction mm. <laughs> like, like two warm pillows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. those aren't two pillows. <laughs> mm. Planes, trains, and automobiles? Yep. Did we add water? Boom. I don't even recall. I don't even remember either. I might have added a little drop. I think I added a drop. You did? I think so. It's hard to tell. I just go into auto mode. Uh, yep. <laughs> did I say 285? We did do the coins 286. Cool. Just in case, but I'm pretty sure we did got it at the beginning. Got it, got it. I uh, wanted to, yeah. oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, now, and I haven't even drank that much of this. I have opened it a couple weeks ago. I tried it. At first, I wasn't that wild about it. 
it's better on me today. I don't think it's oxidized. I think it, maybe just my taste buds are a little bit different. Mm. There's not enough gone out of the bottle. You know, I don't think that oxidation has hit it. Mm, sure. It's, it's hitting my palate a little bit better today. Gotcha. Hmm. It was powerful. I no like iPad. That. I like the upper proof, 50%. I'm going to 89 on the smooth ambler contradiction. Mm. I would need to spend a little bit more time with it. I could see it maybe climbing up to give it 87. Hmm. So, um, yeah, 87. Do, what's the price point? $45. Oh, wow, that's good, yeah. Especially <laughs> 50%. Yeah. Yeah, that's well worth it. Mm -hmm. Very nice combination. I like how they're boldly saying, hey, it's a marriage between what we've sourced and what we've made. I like that. Cool. So we're making a little bit, but we buy over here to smart supplement it. Smart move. Push out more product. Well, make something unique. Bring your own stock up. I wonder, you know, I don't know what their volume is. Mm. Wow, excuse me. I held that one in. Are you ready? Traveling dummy. This one's a bit of a strange traveling dummy. So what we have, picture. Well, what we know Boom. is he traveled to the liquor store. Boom, right. He traveled to the liquor stores, and the liquor store is in the background. But that's not what caught our attention. First of all, obviously, GCAP. Mm -hmm. George G Kaplan. Right. GCAP is a Pete fan. We can tell by the tag, Pete Ted. <laughs> okay. Uh, when I first saw Pete Ted, I just pictured somebody at the DMV trying to figure out, is that good, is it bad? You know, there's always like a fact checker in there that wants to make sure you don't have something that you shouldn't have on a tag. You said fact checker. Fact. fact. Yes, that fact. Is. I got checker. confused there for a second. Sorry. It sounded like you said something fact else. Checker. I got gotcha. you. Glad you got it. So, peated, obviously, is what was being referenced there. Mm -hmm. Although it is P, P E A, by itself, looks like a little, a little vegetable. But here's the danger. Well, First, I want to say we got the coin in the hand. We got the coin on the bumper. We got the we got the peated bumper sticker, and then the Make America Peated again. But does this not look hazardous? It, here's what I would think: You and I are there. Let's just put me in control of the car with the remote. And I'm walking up to the car, and I'm like, I'm opening up the hatch back so you can load in the wind. And you're like, No. No! Too late. Yeah, and I hit it, and, and boom, they're coming off, and they're hitting the ground. And the the uh, the, the one grooves, in the can, in the, the cans, in the cans probably, probably be survive. okay. Maybe depending on how they Maybe. get. Groove CR is dead. Probably. You know, I had a Balvenie Ton 1509 <laughs> in a can though, that didn't survive the fall. It didn't make the fall. It did not survive the fall. So, yeah, right. I will admit I was a bit nervous when I saw that. Like, ooh, you got some guts. He's even got the coin balanced in there. That one, the picture made me nervous, although he did let us know everything made it home fine. Yep. Brave, though. Yeah. That's a brave soul. That was a good job of describing that picture. Thank you. They were it's the audio-visual part. Yep. We like to do a combo of both rather than just like silence. And feast your eyes now. Hey, the 12 Hours of Boom is coming up July 7th. <laughs> we're going 10 a.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. CST. That's right. First time we've said that. Yes. So yes. Uh, 10 a.m., 10 p.m. And why Central. are we doing that? Right. We decided, well, last year we went noon to midnight. Got sure. a little bit late. And a lot this, of overseas fans just aren't yeah. going to stay up that late. Yeah. We'll give a couple more hours to yeah. our fans in, in Europe. Sure. And you're leaving the next day. So we thought, let's bump it up a couple hours. We even moved that back one more day to give me a oh, bit you did. of a respite. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. And it was cheaper, I think. So rather than fly out Sunday, I believe we're flying out Monday. So, good. Yes. Yeah, we're headed to Florida. Help support Tampa. us. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. We got a lot of merchandise on there for sale. You can support us on Patreon. Patreon's doing great. Join the crowd going to Patreon. You can do as little as a dollar a show. Patreon, by far, is how we're sourcing bottles and how we're going to, you know, when we're going to make trips and down to distilleries. So go to Patreon. You can look us up, scotchtestdummies.com. Mm -hmm. You can literally. And it, as small as a dollar, as big as you want to go. Help us help us there. Uh, and towards the later part of August, also, we got invited down to Austin, Texas. Mm. Uh, August, I think it's 28th is what's coming to God, mind. I know. i got to look at that. Uh, 2018. I don't think it's the 28th, though. No, okay. it's, it's the weekend before. Is that right? Yeah. yeah I don't know. Uh, Whiskey Vault. It's the 25th. 
25th. Whiskey Vault invited us down. They're opening up their distillery. A distillery. Uh, some other people. Well, Aqua Vitae has put it out. Roy, he's he's going to be there. Flying. Uh, a couple other people. I don't know if they've put it out yet, so we won't talk about so, them. Yeah. Uh, we'll be doing got some a distillery, and apparently some of their bigger fans can even stay there. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, but wow. uh, they're they're like come down, yeah, bring some merchandise, market. come down, do some live streaming, live stream, baby, come down, hang out. That'll be fun. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, we'll be hanging out and scotch it. You scotch gods, so don't you? Don't. Don't.